welcome back to another video. So I know my last two videos have been covers, which has been a lot of fun, but I thought that I would kind of go back to doing something else this time. Um, so I just recently went on a big shopping spree for vinyl records because everything sounds better on vinyl. Um, so there's a great little record store that we have downtown called Jesse Carl Vinyl and they have a huge blowout going on right now. They are having like $1 and $2 used records and cassettes and all that kind of thing. So naturally, I went down there earlier and I bought some good stuff. So I thought I'd do a little look through of my vinyls and my records and all that kind of thing. I was inspired to do this video by a friend of mine, Jordan Taylor. Um, so I'll link her channel below. She did this recently, so I thought I'd give it a shot too. Without further ado, let's get started. So I organized my records in alphabetical order because I'm anal about my music. Um, so this will also be off of order. So the first one I have here is the 13 Reasons Why Season 1 soundtrack. Um, so I bought this uh, a couple weeks ago um, and I bought it because my favorite song of all time is on this, uh, The Night We Met by Lord Huron, which I covered in my last video. Um, and I also just, I love this TV show. I love the book, everything. So I ended up picking this up down there. Next I have a classic, I have ACDC's Back in Black. Obviously like Back in Black is on your house bells, stuff like that. Um, just good old classic like ACDC. Next I have my little dorky theater brain. I bought Barbara Streisand, Live at the Forum. Um, I love Barbara Streisand. She's an idol of mine. Um, so uh, Don't Put Rain on My Parade is in here and a bunch of other like great Barbara Streisand classics. Next is another dorky whole album. I have the Being the Beast soundtrack on vinyl. So I bought this at Disney, but this actually doesn't come with a sleeve, um, but it's the, the soundtrack from the movie, um, including the Beauty and the Beast song by Celine Dion. Next, I have a record, uh, one of the two that I have from this band, one of my favorite bands of all time. I have Nirvana's Bleach album. Um, which has some really great stuff on it. But yeah, it's got good stuff, Floyd the Barber, About a Girl, uh, Love Buzz, great stuff. So Nirvana is usually one of my favorite bands of all time. Um, so having this album is great. Next, I have the soundtrack from uh, a really, really great movie, the one that I love a lot. So it's the Breakfast at Tiffany's album, um, which is Audrey, Audrey Hepburn, one of her like most famous movies. Um, but yeah, it's got really great, like, classic music on it, and, um, the album is so pretty, and I love Breakfast at Tiffany, so I had to pick this up for a dollar. Next, I have one of my favorite albums of all time. I'll actually pick this up at the merch, uh, stand at her concert. So I have Melanie Martinez with Cry Baby, um, which I love, love, love Melanie Martinez, and this album is absolutely fantastic, and it's got... Um, like the story of how, of like the way the album goes and things like that, so I'll pull that out. So it's got the actual like crybaby book in it. The artwork on the inside is like beautiful and I love it and I love this album and everything about it. So next is a gift from my fairy godmother, who I love with my whole heart, and it's Snow Patrol's Eyes Open. Um, I love Snow Patrol, um, I've seen them live, so it's got two records four sides and um two of my favorite snow patrol songs are on this album next is another one of my favorite bands um so it is arctic monkeys uh favorite worst nightmare yeah so it's got really cool artwork on the inside next i have a single of one of my favorite songs of all time so it's uh, john lennon's imagine um you know the iconic artwork and him on the back as well. Um, so I've been singing this song since I was a little kid. It's one of my favorites and it's one of my mom's favorites. So I grew up on John Lennon. I grew up on the Beatles. Um, and this song in particular like has a whole whole mess of meaning for me. Next, more of my dorky theater kid brain. Um, I just bought Judy Garland live at Carnegie Hall for $2. <laughs> um, but I love Judy Garland. Um, she's definitely a big influence for me, um, especially, you know, I love The Wizard of Oz and her iconic role as Dorothy and Over the Rainbow obviously is on this. Next is more John, more John Lennon. Um, so I have the Plastic Ono Band and a live piece, Live Peace in Toronto um, from 1969. So anyone that knows me <laughs> knows how much I adore Ed Sheeran. Um, so I have one of his first EPs, Loose Change. Um, and this has some of my like favorite Ed Sheeran songs on it. So like One Night, um, Sofa, Let It Out, uh, Firefly, just some really good old Ed Sheeran. Next, uh, I have the Beatles Red album. It's like I said, I grew up listening to the Beatles and um, I 
just I love their music and this this album has so so many great songs on it um can't buy me love um I want to hold your hand yesterday oh Eleanor Rigby uh yellow submarine in my life um so yeah I bought this one today for five dollars I think um and I just I love the Beatles Next is another like dorky theater kid one, but it's okay. So I have this, <laughs> this Sound of Music album. I've been in Sound of Music three times and it was the first show I ever did uh, professionally like that I got paid for and had equity credits for. Um, so this show, as much as I can't stand, I don't think I could ever do it again. Um, it's definitely got like a special place in my heart and I, always, I grew up watching the movie and everything. So, and you know, Julie Andrews obviously is a legend, um, so. Yeah, I bought this today for a dollar. And last but not least, probably my favorite record that I own is Nirvana Unplugged in <laughs> New York. Um, like I said, I love love Nirvana and um, for a good solid year, um, this was on repeat in my car and in my dad's car and my mom's car and literally everywhere I went. Um, I love Kurt Cobain, I love Nirvana and hearing them live and doing some of my favorite Nirvana songs all time, awesome. So like. My favorite Nirvana song of all time is Dumb, and that's on here. Um, they also do a really great cover on this of The Man Who Sold the World, uh, Lake of Fire, All Apologies. Literally every song on this album is incredible and iconic, and I love it. Um, so this is my favorite, definitely favorite, my favorite record that I own. So that's all for today's video. Uh, tune in next time for something else. <laughs> Bye.